What is up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Brad Keselowski's 2017 Miller Lite Cheers to Dale Ford Fusion Talladega win from last fall. So here, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. So, definitely a car that I have waited too long to get. I'm um, not really sure why, I guess... There have been a lot of releases out that I have just really liked a lot more. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. I got it now. Yeah, I had to pay 10 extra dollars for a retail price because uh, this is a grail alert. This thing is getting uh, hard to find quick. And it's like I said, it's already jumped up to about $10 its original retail price. So uh, sometimes 15 in some cases... So if you want it, get it now. But anyways, let's get into the details of the car. So on the front, we do have number two. We got the Ford Blue Oval. We have Fusion. We've got plenty of dirt and grime all over this thing. We do have, this is my first, uh, my personally, my first uh, Monster Energy playoff car. With, and of course, here's the green splinter. Uh, and of course, we do have the, uh, the Fusion down here that instead of its usual spot up here. Uh, just the way the they run at the restrictor plates. I think they did that differently this year, but anyways. Let's take a look at the hood. We have light. We have pins oil. We have a little bit of confetti. We got tape on the hood pins. Not really on the hood pins, which is always kind of funny. So let's take a quick look under the hood. If it wants to open. There we go. There's our engine detail if you care to see it. And underneath the hood, we have powered by Ford and light. And of course, on the window banner, we have our Monster Energy Playoff banner with uh, the green uh, slits right here with the four on, with the manufacturer logo, which looks pretty cool. I I like the uh, I still think the Sprint Cup playoff cars look better with the yellow, but um, yeah, there's the new uh, playoff logo playoff banner, and on the uh, front on the camera we have little Ford logos. And of course, on the roof we have number two, and it's done up just like his, um, uh, just like his 2008 Navy car, which I thought was really good. How they paid attention to the detail of the outlining of the two. Of course, we have some confetti on there. No sponsor on the roof. And on the back window we have Keselowski. This is number 57. We have Worth on the deck lid. The deck lid does open, as do the roof flaps. Of course, this is a, a Platinum Series, one of the last. Take a look under the deck lid, and there is our fuel cell in there. And there's our green uh, playoff spoiler. We do have a camera. And we have cheers to Dale Jr. Light, light, four, number two. And we have a lot of bumps and scrapes, a little dirt and grime from, where, from all the bump drafting and whatnot. Got a little tear right here. Where it would be sheet metal, it would be actually kind of loose, but that's kind of a cool little feature. And, uh, yeah, so there's the back of the car. Let's take a look at the driver's side of the car. We have a little bit of overflow from the gas intake on the left rear quarter panel. We got American Ethanol Ring. We got hashtags Cheers to Dale Jr. Alliance Truck Parts. We got Snap On. Of course, we got Miller Lite, just light actually. And on the C post, we have Auto Trader. On the B post, we have Ford, Drive One, Fitzgerald, whatever that X logo is, PPG, Mazak, and Safety Clean. Discount Tire, SKF, and number two. Here's a better look at the two on the side. Look at just, it's a definitely a good looking car, race version car. There's not a lot of damage, but it's being white. You can see like the wear and tear in the dirt uh, as the race progresses on. And of course, we do have our uh, playoff contingencies. This is round of 12, Monster Energy Playoffs. <clears throat> I do believe Brad made it to the final four last year. And on the name rail, we do have Keselowski, which is just like um, it was when he drove the 88 Navy car. I really wish I had that car, but that car is extremely hard to come by. And when it is around, it is expensive, so I do not have that one yet. But one day I will get that car. Of course, we have our three race winner stickers from earlier in the season. We have Atlanta, Martinsville, and Talladega. And it also, on that third one, it has the round of 12, little 12 under the sticker. So it's pretty much, and of course we do have the black rims for this car, unlike the uh, primary cars that they run, that Penske runs. So 
they really went all out to make this car a throwback to his uh, Navy car in the Xfinity series, Nationwide series. And here's the left side of the car, and you can see more dirt and grime around here. A little damage on the left uh, front fender right there. So a good looking car. Of course, we got more confetti on the back right here. Just a good, good looking race version. Good looking scheme. I really, I really was glad they did this. And let's take a look under the car. There's the detail if you care to see it. That pretty much does it for the car itself. Let's take a quick look at the box. It's our typical 2017 generic 2017 box. We have the race win sticker, Monster Energy Action 25th race win version, checkered flag. We've got the checkered. The finish line, and right here we do have another, the last, uh, well it wasn't the last review, but the last new release I got had the render of the car, or the render of the car was a picture of the actual car, and that is true for this one as well. So there's the render, aka the actual picture, 2017 Talladega winner, 2017 race winner, uh, standard finish, 17 Platinum Series. There's your 2017 race schedule because I'm sure you still need that. Race version, Monster Energy, all that good stuff. And here's the production number, standard finish. Got the race still, race win sticker. They've only made 877 of these, so that also does not help with the fact that it's getting rare. And then our typical legal stuff in the Ford uh, scan, code scan thing, whatever. Let's take a quick look at the trinkets or whatever you want to call it that comes with it. Of course, you do have your race winner sticker. You do have your confetti. And you have your uh, card. And I'm not really going to read the front of it because it just takes too much time. That There's that. But I will read the back of it because it's kind of funny how it reads. It, it reads like a newspaper from like that just happened yesterday. Uh, the race at Talladega didn't earn its nickname, the big one, for no reason. During Sunday's Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series race, only 12, see, Sundays, like that. Brad Keselowski did win as of recording of this video Sunday, but it was not Talladega, and it's 2018. Is that Dollarton? So that's kind of funny. Sunday's March Southern Energy Cup Series race. Only two out of the 12 playoff contenders survived the wreck field Alabama Madness. The challenge for the win. Power in the number two, Ford Fusion for Team Petsky. Brad Keselowski has maneuvered his way through the Fred Flag pileups to capture his fifth Talladega victory. He's getting close to Dodge Jr. six, but records are meant to be broken. Not only did Keselowski make his 300th career start at Talladega, but he did so with a specially designed number two, Ford Fusion race car that honored Dale Hart Jr., who gave Brad his first full time in NASCAR Xfinity Series. So that's kind of funny. I didn't even realize that. I wasn't even thinking about that when I first read it, but he did win. As recording of this video Sunday so that pretty much does it here is the car itself again and we're just gonna go ahead and put it with well shit pardon my French I'm gonna try and get it quick little look at it with the uh, Dale Jr. car that ran against it so this is definitely a neat little set to have um, which is not the main reason I got it. The main reason I got it, honestly, is because it's getting rare. And I'm still trying to collect all the race wins from last year. And it goes good with this Dale Jr. Uh, Final Talladega race version. I remember I was so mad at the end of this race, though, because I thought Dale Jr. had a real good shot to win. I didn't think Brad helped. But uh, come to find out, Dale Jr.'s car was still beat up and damaged from that last wreck of that race. So he didn't really have the car to do it. He did finish 7th, though. Um... So that was good. But anyways, that pretty much does it for this video. I do recommend that you get both of these cars. This one's probably going to get a, take a little bit longer to get rare. Simply because they made a lot more of this one than they did this one. But it's a really cool set to have. I, I recommend it. Because this is actually a car uh, paying tribute to Dale Jr. So it's a cool little set to have. But anyways, that pretty much does it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram page at jpat underscore diecast2. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and night wherever you may be, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.